Hey everybody, Mark Pryor here for the California Wine Exchange on our Kickstarter page. And it occurred to me that, you know, you watch all these great Kickstarter videos, but how much can you really talk about a concept in three minutes, uh, you know, for that Kickstarter video? Obviously, you don't want the video to go long. But uh, the one thing I wanted to talk to you more about is what I want for the California Wine Exchange and, and elaborate that on, uh, you know, just a little bit more. Um, you know, the interesting thing that, I, and I think a lot of people don't realize this, is California alone has over 5,000 winemakers in the state. And, you know, it's so many people so, that just buy their wines at the grocery stores. And, and a lot of them think like, that's it, you know, they see the same wines over and over again. And, and really that's like the, the tip of the iceberg, you know, there's so much more to California wine than just what you see there. And so I was thinking that I really wanted to showcase the smaller winemakers and I'm uh, basically making this declaration right now, 80% of my inventory, 80% is going to be from the craft, the family-run vineyards, the mom-and-pop uh, wineries, uh, you know, because there's so much great wine out there and I feel like they all deserve a voice and they all deserve an opportunity to, uh, to get their wines out there. Now, the other thing that I want to talk to you about is a little bit of the, you know, I mentioned this in the Kickstarter video, is like the snobby reputation of wine. So the other thing that I want to do with my wine shop is make wine more accessible to beginners. Because I feel like, you know, so many people are, you know, afraid to talk about wine in, and try different wines uh, simply because they may not feel like they are worthy of it. You know, there's how many times have any of you uh, had a sommelier or someone in a tasting room and they start going through what the wine tastes like and the expressions of the wine and this tastes like Huron's and uh, this tastes like granite and this tastes like dragon fruit and that tastes like persimmon and I'm like well what? I've never tasted any of those things before so you know what happens you're talking about all these flavors how am I supposed to feel if uh, if I don't taste those things and so one of the important things that I want to do is just bring wine down to just the everyday level where someone who has very little knowledge of wine, who has no knowledge of wine, can come in and sip some wine. And in my tasting room, the only thing that I would ask him is, how do you like it? And I kind of just let the wine speak for itself. And I feel like that's so important for more and more people to get into wine nowadays because I feel like everyone's concerned about uh, ooh, these rich layers and the complexity of the wine, but uh, you know, it's just not it's just not necessary. You know, it's wine can just be fun sometimes. You can just there's nothing wrong with just liking wine, and that's one of the other things that I want to get across in my tasting room. Um, you know, and uh, finally, when it comes to uh, when it comes to tastings in my wine shop and, and again this is one of the weird things about Los Angeles is there's lots of places to to buy wine but but actually the wine tastings there's not that many places you know there's a few places that offer tastings but you know it's not a, like an everyday thing it's like they may do it a couple of days of the week you know uh, I know there's a, a wine shop down in LA they only have tastings on Sunday but they're a wine shop and that I that was I was always curious about that so I'm gonna have tastings uh, every day that I'm going to be open. So I'm planning on being open six days out of the week um, and close on Monday because Monday night football is important. And so, uh, you know, when it comes to tastings, I'm going to do different themes on each and every night. So one night, maybe Cabernet and Chardonnay, and then another night, maybe wines exclusively from Temecula. And then on another night, I may do wines uh, like Chardonnay, I'm sorry, not Chardonnay, but Sauvignon Blanc and, uh, and Pinot Noir. And then uh, I may do wines strictly from Paso Robles. And I may do wine that is produced exclusively by uh, female winemakers, you know, uh, you know, women run wineries. Uh, and then, you know, I could also do wine produced by uh, Latinos. I could do uh, wine uh, wineries and I can feature wineries and vineyards that are black owned and 
you know, if I'm specializing in California wine, there's so many other topics within that realm with 5,000 winemakers in the state that I can branch out and, and show people that there's more to California than just what you see on the shelves at the grocery store or Total Wine and More or BevMo or any of those other retailers there. So, you know, that's the concept for my wine shop in a nutshell. And, uh, and that's really what I'm, I'm trying to get across. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this, uh, gives you a little more insight into what I'm trying to accomplish and cheers. cheers.